Hey guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I'm doing a paid review. This is for Dr. Sprague. Dr. Sprague wanted me to do five videos. So uh, I've got to be honest with you, I had a few mental health problems and I put it to the back burner. But now that I'm, I'm plowing through paid reviews, I actually want to come back and do these vids because I've, I've, I've kept it in a corner and uh, this was a request from Dr. Sprague. So he's, he sent me a few of these. I'm going to put these, do, do maybe one a day until their, their backlog is finished for Dr. Sprague. Uh, he says, uh, five quick videos. Okay, well, doing one today. Uh, and he wants me to talk about Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. That's correct. Who is Anthony Bourdain? And I got to tell you, I initially didn't know who he was. I, I kind of, uh, 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 in Australia here, I haven't watched television for 15 years. But he's quite, quite a famous uh, celebrity chef. He's an author. And I do remember, once I sort of did a bit of research, I have seen some travel documentaries involving food that he's done. And um, he's, he kind of looks at many... Uh, he, he looked at international cuisine, cultural cuisine, and just just looked at, you know, how food... I think he used food as a great bringer together of people. And I, I got to tell you, it, it's I, I did a bit of research on this. And uh, I, I tell you who did do a an excellent video was actually uh, from Theo and Harris. Theo and Harris did a excellent video about Anthony Bourdain, and um, I'll put a link a link in this video here so you can see the the Theo and Harris video, uh, and and it was, it was quite quite interesting. Theo and Harris actually went to one of the restaurants that Anthony Bourdain loved in 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 uh, in New York, uh, which is something I can't do because I'm stuck in Australia. But uh, very, very, very interesting, um, very interesting restaurant he went to because it was just wasn't necessarily expensive Chinese restaurant, but a very, very good restaurant. And uh, I, I got to tell you, um, I, uh, I, I then did a bit of digging into the um, the life of 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 of. of uh, Tony Bourdain, and he was born in 1956 in New York, uh, America, and uh, he 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 lived he 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 graduated in 1978 uh, of the uh, Culinary Institute of America. Uh, he, he had a best-selling book, Kitchen Confidential: uh, Adventures in the Col Culinary Underbelly. Uh, he's First food and television, uh, his first food and world travel television show, A Cook's Tour, ran for 35 episodes in the early 2000s. Uh, he, in 2005, he began hosting Travel Channel's Culinary and Cultural Adventure Program, uh, Anthony Bourdain, No Reservations, and Layover. Uh, he really, I gotta be quite honest with you, he's a lovable character, very much a uh, Jim Thompson sort of guy, you know, knockabout guy. He just knows his shit, you know. He, he, him, as you age, I mean, I'm aging, I'm 47 this year, and you see an older guy who has the source. You don't just run to the young bucks. You'd go to someone like Tony for advice there, and uh, very handsome guy, very. Um, uh, you know, New Yorkers have a an attitude, and but he is very kind of accepting of cultures and exploring of things. Very lovable guy. One of the things about Tony was he was a huge wristwatch lover, as you do, and uh, it's quite interesting. He 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 was uh, filmed wearing a number of of time pieces. 
uh, he, he was very famous for wearing Rolex! Rolex, Rolex. And um, one of his uh, famous watches he wore was a, a steel oyster with a beautiful blue dial, uh, a date just. Uh, but he, he, he was also famous for wearing a, uh, a Panerai, Panerai, Panerai. And interestingly enough, he was, he was interviewed, I think it was by the, uh, who was it who interviewed him? I think it was, uh, was it the, uh, who interviewed him? I'll just find that. Who was that? I was just having a look. Uh, I can't find it now. It's always the case when you try to find these things here you can't find it but uh, I, I think it was one of the was it Wall Street Journal or what one of the the publications asked him what's your your most precious thing possession and he replied his father's father's watch which was a a Rolex oyster a simple Rolex oyster which is uh, quite quite a a lovely, very simple, simplistic, no date, no fancy fluted bezel, just a uh, very, very much uh, simplistic type piece, which I must say, in the day, we're look, talking, you're talking, this would have been a watch 50s, um, that would have been incredibly expensive, incredibly expensive, especially coming out of World War Two, and... Um, it would have been Rolex would have been a very much a, a luxury free watch there. So he he himself had a huge love of uh, wrist watches, and uh, he loved. He, he he even wore a. The founder of Ernest Benz gave him one of. It's not really my cup of tea, but he he did wear a world time by by them, which uh, if, if it's free and it ticks, I, I'll wear it. Uh, but he's mainly known for Rolex and Panerai. Um, the sad thing is, the sad thing is, which I, I I find really hard to believe, is that he uh, he actually committed suicide. He committed suicide in June nineteen, sorry, June two thousand and eighteen. That's that's only last year. And uh, that's rather sad, rather sad indeed. It's uh, he's such a lovable guy, and uh, I mean, I was looking into his sort of his his past. There, he had experimented with drugs a bit, but the toxicology reports didn't pick up anything particular there. And I got to say, he was only sixty-one, sixty-one. Suckerhorn is sixty-one. I mean. <coughs> What a tragic loss. Absolute tragic loss there. It's uh, very sad to hear. Very, very sad to hear. And uh, I suppose this is the thing. The television game is such a... Uh, it's a competitive dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's a bit like the YouTube game itself there where you, you have... Um, I mean, you put a lot of time developing your craft and uh, you have little cunts who come up and try and steal your fucking your thunder or your your ideas or your concepts i mean you have little fucking cunts who uh think they invented the wristwatch check i mean as i i was the first person on youtube to do wristwatch checks um that's just a fact of life and you have a slimy little fucking cunt who thinks he invented that i mean this is this is the sort of i can understand you know with, with tony himself there the, the celebrity chef's genre it's a fucking hard thing especially with the international travel it's uh it's difficult i mean i i travel a lot myself i mean people think it's glamorous and you're jumping on airplanes you're going to exotic cities yeah, it's fun, but it, it can be very, very lonely at times as well. And um, I, I, I especially suffer, suffer depression 
when I return, when I return to the, the land of misery, the land of misery, the Western world, the land of misery. And uh, I got to say, it, it, it's a, I was reading this story here. Tony's the sort of guy you'd like to meet. It's, uh, it's really sad. Really sad. I mean, suicide is never the answer. It's never the answer. Um, but uh, very, very sad. So this, this, was, this was a, a paid review that Dr. Sprague asked me to do. So Dr. Sprague, I'm going to cross this one off the list here. Uh, and I'll, I'll keep working on them because these were great ideas. I've got a few more to do. Um, very sad to hear about Tony Bourdain. I mean, fuck. What, what a waste. What a waste. Rolex collector. Um, this, this is how it is sometimes, you know. I, I get a lot of pleasure from my Rolex watches. I love them. I love my Rolex. I don't even... I mean, I'm filming this video here. Have a look at this, guys. I'll show you. I, I'm, I'm filming this video for you guys. And I got my Rollies here. Look, 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 look on the floor. I got my stack. And on my briefcase, I got my ladies. Even though... You know, they're, they're, they're not men's. They don't fit me. I like to look and caress them and touch them. And, you know, it's sort of... Sometimes you don't realise how tough life is for some people. And uh, it's made me a bit sad hearing that story. He, um, he sounds like a really cool guy. I love the travel, the food. I mean, it's, it's kind of sad. Very, it is, it's not kind of. It is fucking sad. It's very sad. 61, that's no age to die. Mm. Anyhow, very interesting tale. Loved his Rolex. Loved his father's Rolex. What a great story. Loved his father's watch. So, uh, guys, I'll be making a few more of these for Dr. Sprague. Uh, guys, tell me, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't forget to... Um, no negatives on this one. The poor bastard. Poor bastard died. That's... Um, it's really sad. Really sad indeed. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you guys think of that. The review. What did you think of the review? The review. This style for Dr. Sprague. Not, not some guy who unfortunately uh, met his demons. I'm talk talking about what did you think of my... Um, what did you think of my... This concept. This concept for Dr. Sprague. Hey guys, it's Paul Pluto. Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archie Luxury. Hey guys, one of the ways that I raise funds... Oh, quick, wristwatch check. Wristwatch checks I invented. I'm wearing a Milgauss. Guys, one of the ways that I stay full-time on YouTube is by doing paid reviews. Paid reviews. Basically, guys, what happens is you simply uh, PayPal me 50 US dollars, uh, send me a description of your collection, <coughs> also send me a low res low res 1024 by 768 no larger than that because it clogs my mailbox send me some low res photos and I'll do a collection review I'll also suggest which pieces you should get rid of which pieces you should add and uh, I'll tell you what I think of your collection so guys check out the poor Pluto channel it's 50 US dollars for a paid review. Now, guys, if you are struggling, if you are fucked as fuck die and money is really tight, I'll do it cheaper. $30 if you're impoverished, if you're a teacher, if you are uh, struggling to survive a student, if you're unemployed, if you're, um, you're just going through a big divorce and it's gone messy. You do anything, I'll do it cheap. I'll discount the rate. But uh, you better have a good fucking reason. Because if I find you trying to stiff me, I'll be really fucking angry. And I'll give you a really angry, angry... Well, actually, that could encourage people to do that. Yes, it... Um, i got to tell you, guys. <coughs> the other thing I'm doing is, guys, I got in-character paid reviews. 100 US dollars, 100 US dollars if you want Satan Deville to review your collection. 100 US dollars if you want Captain Shitter, Captain Shitter to review your collection. Uh, we've also got other characters, Daryl the Plumber 
and uh, we've also got Trev the ANZ Bank Guy. So, guys, if you want an in character paid review, 100 Smackaroonies! Obviously, guys, also extra donations and extras and premium reviews are 200 US dollars. Premium, you've got the word premium. Uh, in the review. Now guys, when I do the review, you must tell me whether it's okay or not. If you want your name in the title, tell me. If you want your name, Archie Luxury or Archibald Chesterfield in the title, tell me you want it in the title and I'll put it in the title because sometimes often people, they want their friends and other people to see that they've actually had the prestige of a paid review on the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, this video is on the Archie Luxury channel. It's also on the Paul Pluto channel. Make sure, if you all haven't seen my Paul Pluto channel, jump across. I got a couple channels. Look at the side. I got Archie Luxury live streaming. That's where all my live streaming videos are. I've got, it's where my weekly, Friday night and Saturday night, I do live streaming. It's American Times because that's the biggest market, fuckers. I've also got Paul Pluto channel paid reviews in general watch content. I got Archie Luxury Corporate. It's my more professional, well, actually, they're not that professional. It's my more focused wristwatch content videos. So that's a good thing to watch. The other thing I do is two fuckeroonies. The other thing I do too is I've also got, so we've got Paul Pluto channel. We've got Archie Luxury Channel, Archie Luxury's General Debauchery. Paul Pluto is paid watch reviews and watch content. Archie Luxury Corporate is uh, more professional videos. We've got Archie Luxury Live Streaming and we've got the QR Rail Fail. Because those sons of bitches, they deserve a good kick up the fucking ass. I ain't going away. I got a channel just to get those cunts some payback. Those sons of bitches wanted to jail me. Well, I ain't fucking disappearing. So, guys, that's the way it is. It's all happening. Archie Luxury, Paul Pluto, Archie Luxury Corporate. Sign up to all of them. Please do that. And get a paid review done. And uh, you just enjoy it. It'll be fantastic. And your life will be so cool. Paul Pluto, signing out, fuckers. Yeah.